Hello YouTube and welcome back. Today I will be talking about the Volvo six cylinder engines, the i6, the uh, 2.0 and 2.3 turbo and non-turbo engines. This uh, specific engine, I believe it came out of uh, XC70 uh, 2010. Um, I will be talking about how to remove the outer timing cover, the timing chain, the inner timing cover, also the valve cover, and the cylinder head. And I'm going to be talking about the, the tools that's required to do the job and on how to do it uh, without damaging your engine. I'm going to do parts video. Today I will be talking about the tools that is required to do the job. Uh, I will be listing all the tools numbers in the description and where you can get them. And to start, we're going to talk about this first tool right here. This tool is an engine mount that it bolts on to the engine to hold the engine in place after removing the engine mount on the passenger side. And that's going to hold your engine in place while you're doing the work. The second tool is the camshaft positioner. This will lock the crank, uh, uh, sorry, it's the crankshaft positioner. This will lock the crankshaft in the timing position where you need it to be when you set your timing and when you install the timing chain. The second tool will be uh, for positioning the camshaft. This will lock the camshaft in place for the timing of the engine. And this bolts onto the back of the camshaft. This tool is used to lock the camshaft pulleys in place while removing the bolts. You can't use the positioner tool uh, as a lock tool otherwise you will break the end of the camshaft. This tool is used to lock the camshaft pulleys in place. It locks both together and then you would use this tool it's a Torx 50, or a, sorry, Torx 60. Um, if you can find it anywhere in any store, you can use it. It doesn't have to be this specific tool, as long as it's a Torx 50, or a 60, I'm sorry, and as long as it fits in this hole to uh, remove the bolts. These two, they kind of go together. These tools is to position the outer timing cover in place while you're installing. These two tools, you would only use them when you're reinstalling the cover. It will not be needed when you're removing the cover. These two are also used together. These two tools is for the drive belt pulley. I want to show you on this engine right here. It's for this pulley right here. After you remove the cover, you would use this tool to hold the pulley in place, and you would use this tool to loosen the bolt that it goes on that shaft. This pulley, it's a clutch pulley. Um, if you turn it counterclockwise, it should spin freely, and if you turn it clockwise, it should lock. If it locks on both sides, I mean, this pulley is bad. This one is moving very hard. Um, it's not in the best condition. And that's what these two are used for, to remove that bolt and reinstall it. Now, as for this, this is a Torx 50. Try to focus this. Okay. I'm using my phone here, it's kind of hard to hold the phone and do all this work at the same time. Come on. There we go. This is just a Torx 50. Uh, you can buy it probably from Harbor Freight uh, with a 3 8 or a half inch, whatever you prefer, as long as it's long enough to reach the bolt before it bottoms out on the end of this tool. And this tool is used to install a lip seal. Now that lip seal, <clears throat> it is a, excuse me, it's a reverse lip seal and most people sometimes they install it 
back and the lip goes onto the wrong side and it would have problem leaking oil. You would need this tool to install the lip seal the right way. And this tool is useless without this cone, so make sure not to lose this. I will be showing you in the reversal procedure on how to install that seal. These two tools, they're not really required for the job. Some people use them, I don't use them, there's no need for them. These originally were made for the five cylinder engines due to the, uh, there is um, on the cam cover, there's a, a, a lip and if that lip, if the cover um, cocks one way or another, it will snap that um, lip and it'll break and once it breaks then you have to replace the head and the valve cover and this was used to hold the cover down straight when you lift the valve cover off now the six cylinder engines don't have that lip so these are not really required but you can use them if, if it makes your life easier uh, if you have this style tool you would have to modify one of them you would have to cut the ends to make it look like this otherwise this tool will interfere with the uh, with this part right here when you put this down into the spark plug hole it would hit these and it'll be in your way so you would have to cut them off I don't use them personally but I will show you on how to do it using them this last tool this tool is only required for certain year engines this tool is needed to position the uh, AC compressor bracket on 2010 and older vehicles with this engine they use a two-piece bracket and it is required to be aligned by this tool if you have a 2011 and newer and it uses a electrical power steering pump then this tool is not needed because you only have a one-piece bracket and there's no adjustment needed there <laughs> due to this engine this is a coming out of this uh, XC70 I believe it was 2010 this tool would have been needed to reinstall that bracket I have seen people reinstalling it without the tool they told me they never had a problem but I don't know I always use the right tools I might not be able to show you exactly how to use this tool on this engine because I don't have the bracket okay I will be listing all the parts and tools that is needed um, for this job. I will be listing the numbers and where you can get them from. I believe some of the tools, they do have them where you can buy them from different places. I uh, believe some of the tools, you have to buy them from the dealer, but they're not very expensive. And this will be the first part for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you find this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. I will be uploading this video, um, not sure, probably today, tomorrow. And then I'll, I'll try to start taking this engine apart sometime this week. I'll be recording more videos and uploading part two and part three, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or uh, comments, uh, leave a comment in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much and have a great day.